Welcome to Spiritual Psychic with Sarah Wiseman, where you'll learn how to unlock the secrets of spiritual intuition and your own psychic gifts. Here's Sarah. Hey everybody, I'm Sarah Wiseman and our lesson today is Can you throw away the map? Can you throw away the map? This commitment to living from soul will take you on an unexpected journey whether you travel the world or you stay at home whether you meet many people or only a few whether you achieve worldly success or live a simple life Yet in all cases, this walking on the path in your own way, throwing away the map and letting the light lead, this is walking in the mystery and it is the sweetest, most profound way to live a life. So what they're talking about, um, just going backwards, these messages are channeled from uh, guides. That's a lot of the practice that I do is um, I've been channeling since about 2000 and it doesn't happen every day. It tends to tends to like every four years, a big chunk of channeling comes in and sort of uh, it's frustrating to not have it be more frequent, but that's how it is. Um, But anyway, that's what this is from Um, this idea of the map. The map is usually referred to in these messages as society's map society's map that we are you know handed at the time of our birth like hey you were born as a a man you were in this place you were born as a woman in this place you were born into this uh, family this culture this life situation so here's your map and here's what here's what society would like you to do And so we just have our birth and then we get our map and then we're like, oh, this, this isn't that great. And of course the universe is saying, yeah, don't pay, pay no attention to that map. That is just a fake map. That map is a puny little idea this tiniest sliver of what you could really experience in your lifetime. So throw that map away. And a lot of us don't get to throw our maps away until maybe we, if we were in our young adulthood, in like our 20s, we start to look at the map and go, gosh, I don't really care for this map. Who made this map? <laughs> well, who gave me this map? Like, I don't want this map. But there is so much pressure because everybody else has their little map that they're carrying around going, we have to follow the map. Aren't you following the map? If you don't follow the map, you know, terrible things will happen. It's not true. So this idea of throwing the map away and just beginning to pay attention and then combining that with the idea that we've been talking about previously, uh, this idea of answering your calling and answering your calling continually through a lifetime, not just when you're in your 20s, like answering it in your 30s, your 40s, or 50s, because the calling comes in different ways at different times as your own understanding increases. So this idea that when you throw away the map, you're sort of working outside of the societal paradigm that was given to you. And then it's kind of amazing what can happen. A lot of you guys have had that experience where you travel somewhere different and you know, you're on a traveling journey and because you're not in your customary environment, like all these, crazy wild interesting things happen and because you're not in your customary um personality suit you respond differently to the different things that are happening when you're doing this kind of traveling and this is this approach to the world to our lives this is what we want to have always we want to get out of that habitual way or that that stuckness in the paradigm we want to be with what is in this state of approaching it from curiosity from openness from open-heartedness and um 
approach it from that way. But mostly we're like, no, I have to follow the map. So it's great to kind of think about what's the map that you're working from now that isn't really yours. And what if you were working instead with this vast possibility and potentiality of it just being in the universe, being in the world as a soul, as a soul on earth, that's your only map. I'm a soul on earth. And so now what? Very different than that narrow, narrow view. Here's where we go. Here's what we do. Here's how we act. Here's how we dress. Here's what we eat. Here's how we live. I'm a soul on earth. This lifetime, I'm a human being, I'm a divine being in human container. And what can I create? What can I contribute? What can I experience? What can I understand? That would be a more interesting way to live. I'm Sarah Wiseman, and I will see you next time.